Yo, dudes, check out this killer Ozzy Osbourne-inspired wall art that we got from Pets Rock for our Weimaraner Lizzie. We loved it so much we wanted to get one for our Super Mutt June, but since she's one of a kind, I had to make one myself, so I staged a photo shoot and got to work. I downloaded this photo of a punk rocker from Shutterstock to use as my base photo. A little note of housekeeping, guys, I'm new here to YouTube, so I'd appreciate a subscribe. Big shout out to all my followers over on TikTok. I plan to post more detailed versions of all those TikTok DIY videos here on my YouTube channel, so be sure to check them out. I didn't want this project to look like a dog's head on a human body, so I needed to change the shape of his shoulders. To do that, I selected his shoulders and used the warp tool to give them much more of a slope. My goal here is to make it look like a human leather jacket was sitting over a dog's shoulders. When the warping was complete, there was a lot of cleanup to do. To fix all these edges, I used the clone stamp tool and even copied and pasted some of the sections that I thought would work. With the cleanup complete, I began masking out June's head. With most of her head masked out, I continued masking to make it look like her fur was sitting behind the hoodie inside the leather jacket. I wanted to add the mohawk to June's head, so I copied and pasted the punker's head to the front layer. Adjusting the blending options on a step like this can get you pretty close. For everything else, mask it out. I thought the punk's hair looked kind of funny on top of June's head and thought about leaving it, but it didn't look very realistic. Instead of masking out the hair, I dodged it out to make it super light. I thought this helped it blend in a lot better. I softened up June's fur by simply refining all the edges. This actually made it look a little more realistic as well. I needed to add a little extra fur to make it look like it was tucked down inside the hoodie, so I just simply copied and pasted some of it. June's favorite color is blue, or so my wife says, so I added the blue background. I thought the mohawk looked a little thin, so I thickened it up by simply duplicating and moving around sections. Then I blended it in by masking as necessary. What punk is complete without a dangly cross earring? Check out this sweet one. Since the earring was on a white background, I was able to get most of the way there just by changing the blending option. I added drama by using a huge soft brush and placing a dot behind her head. The project complete, I headed over to collage.com and uploaded the photo and placed my order. Well guys, I gotta go. Mash that like button and follow me to see more DIY projects like this. I'll be sure to post an unboxing video of this canvas as soon as we get it. Later.